What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is Sylvia Treasures. Um, before I start this video, I, I just wanted to remind everyone just to make sure that your video quality is at 1080, um, just to ensure uh, best video quality. Sometimes, especially phones, they uh, default to like 380, so the video can get kind of blurry. So just a reminder for everyone, um, just wanted to let you guys know before we get started. Um, but today we're going to be looking at some Brie cars by Hot Wheels. Um, I just been meaning to open this for a little bit. Uh, figured I would open this on camera and update my Brie collection with you guys and show you guys what I have. I think I'm pretty much complete as far as Hot Wheels goes, but you guys will have to let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything. Um, but anyway, uh, Brie cars are no uh, stranger to the diecast community. Um, they, they're being done by pretty much every single brand. This one is a green light, um, green light collectibles, Dotson 510. I love green light cause it has opening hood, um, opening hood and, uh, it's very small. So it's kind of more accurate to scale in my opinion. So I do enjoy this one a lot. Let, I'll let you guys take a look at that for a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time on this cause I do want to kind of focus more on Hot Wheels right now. But yeah, this one's the uh, green light. Very nice four spoke wheels. And yeah, it's my favorite just cause they're, they're more to scale. They're the Hot Wheels 510s are a lot bigger. So, all right, that's the green light. This diorama here is actually a green light as well. Um, the garage opens up really cool. Greenlight does some excellent like garage and gas station dioramas. So yeah, if you guys are interested, it's Greenlight. I think they'll have them up on eBay. All right, next one that I have is a Mini GT. Mini GT Datsun 510 Wagon. This one came out this year. Um, so this one's pretty new to me. This one also has a nice opening hood. If I can get this to open. All right, nice little... Uh, Four cylinder turbo engine there. Look at that, it's beautiful. Like I said, I don't wanna to spend too much time on it. I just wanted to show you guys just how how involved the uh, the Brie Racing Team is in the diecast community. There's a lot of love for the Brie Racing Team. All right, we'll go ahead and jump into Hot Wheels now. Like I said, I, I wanted to open up that Sunny for you guys. Um, been meaning to open this for a little bit. I, I never found this in the store. My One of my friends hooked it up. So yeah, I'll go ahead and take a look at this Sunny. I love this thing. Love this thing. <clears throat> really small four spoke wheels. So cool. I'll let that spin around for a little bit. I'll show you guys what other Brie cars that I have. I do have a, a, a good amount of them. Let me try to zoom this in here. There you go. I do have a good amount of them. Um, majority are 510s. They, I have a 240Z. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So I'll let that spin around. The first Brie car I believe that was ever to release by Mattel was this from the Vintage Racing Series. I love the uh, real riders on this and the Goodyear um, uh, tires. Love the uh, the crisp decos. This this was back then when uh, Mattel tampos weren't all grainy and all that. The tampo and the quality was a lot better back then. So you guys take a look at that. I love the uh, tail lights on this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, it's kind of like a two tone ish. So it kind of has that like more realistic look to it. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about. But all the other 510s by Mattel are just like a plain color. So this one kind of stands out to me because of that. And metal base, of course, plain metal. Let that spin around for you guys. And the next 510 I believe that released was um, this one in the Redline Club. I don't remember how many pieces there was of this. I think three or 4,000. But uh, pr this is pretty much identical. Uh, as you guys can tell, the paint's really shiny, Spectra Flame Red. Look at that shine on the light there. Uh, plastic tires, unfortunately. I don't mind the plastic tires so much, but 
it, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, real, uh, I mean, the red line tires. Uh, but I get it. It was a red line club exclusive. So, yeah, it's it's okay. And uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. The taillights are kind of more bland on this one, in my opinion. Oh, well, maybe not. But I think the taillights look better on the um, on the vintage racing one. Uh, other than that, the, the tampos are identical. Um, but yeah, this one does have Spectra Flame Red, which is nice. Very nice. And the base is Chrome, which is nice as well. Yep, this one's, uh, none of these 510s have opening hoods. I think these came out long before the opening hood casting came out, so. All right, I'll let this one spin around for you guys. Woo! This one is plastic tire, so it doesn't want to stay still. All right. Maybe we'll start parking these right here, actually, in the garage. Why not, right? All right, next one that I have is this 240Z. Um, same decos, the, also the same tires and wheels, red line tires. So again, this was a red line club exclusive, but it has the exact same paint. Oh my goodness, my fingerprints. Uh, Spectra Flame Red, pretty freaking amazing. And uh, this one actually has more of a detailed exhaust, so this one kind of takes the cake for me, in my opinion. Yeah, this one looks great. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones. Honestly, yeah, chrome, chrome metal base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll let you guys take a look at that. Hopefully it doesn't roll off. There you go. All right, next one I believe is this. This one came out of like a box set from Redline Club. Um, I think in like a car culture set. This was one of the cars. This is a, uh, a blue Brie car. Pretty awesome, four spoke wheels. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, you guys take a look at that. And then last but not least, the one I have loose is this uh, team transport variation. It came with this really amazing um, box truck. And I think it came like this. Yeah, just different different uh, race cars that they've had over the years, and it's nice that they you know they're coming out with them one by one. Yep, this one's really amazing. Uh, they did come out with the two pack that I do have, um, but the two pack I never really opened it. I don't think I will just because uh, I don't know if I need another forty six in my collection. I would like to have this loose, uh, but I don't know if I want to open this as well. Uh oh. oh this one because I only have one, I only found one. So yeah, I'll probably just keep this one carded just cause I, I don't want to be stuck with another 46. It's, it's kind of similar to the other 46. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know if I'm missing anything as far as uh, uh, Brie cars go. I, I think I have everything, but if not, let me know. I'll have to eventually grab them. I, I do like to complete this uh, race team here. So I hope you guys enjoy guys. Um, like I said, uh, I do post videos four times a week. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you guys. Peace.